Hello and welcome to another session on Microsoft Fabric. And in today's video, we are going to discuss how can you purchase a capacity for Microsoft Fabric and can use it. Now, Microsoft Fabric trials are already started counting and very soon the trials would expire. Many of you might have already purchased the capacity or plan to purchase a Fabric capacity. So those of you who are planning to purchase a capacity and want to know how to do that and how we are going to use the capacity, this is the video for you. So the first step in to purchase a capacity is to understand what are the options you have to buy you can purchase the capacity either from a azure portal or you can reach out to the microsoft partners like company of mine or your existing partners who are supporting you in buying azure resources or microsoft 365 resources you can reach out to them if you don't have enough information to buy you can also raise a support ticket and ask more questions before you want to buy the capacity you might like to understand what all capacities are available for microsoft fabric so for that you can search for microsoft fabric capacity pricing and can open a page and view it let me give you a quick glance of that so i already searched for microsoft fabric capacity pricing and let me open the page if you scroll down you will be able to understand what are the different capacities available what you can do is you can choose the region the currency and the amount you're going to spend now there are reserve prices for every instance and there are pay as you go prices what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the pay as you go prices show you the monthly prices for pay as you go but you can also go for reservation so if you go down you can see that the fabric capacity start from f2 unlike power bi where we have a capacity starting from p1 which is pretty high and comparable with the capacity f64 in fabric in fabric the capacity start as low as f2 and having a monthly spend of 262 dollar only now these are unreserved prices pay as you go prices but if you go for reserve prices you will be able to get better prices the capacity goes as high as f2048 and which can cost you more more than 260k per month but depending on your need you can buy these capacity and definitely reservation will give you more benefit know more about reservation you can click on this fabric capacity reservation if you further go down on this page you will get other components which you need for the fabric is like one lake storage bcdr storage and one lake cache one lake cache is required for kql and data activator similarly you have mirroring option you also have the network charges the bandwidth charges which are will be applicable and you can go and view those options here right now we will keep our focus only to purchase the fabric capacity and i'm going to showcase you how can you purchase the f64 capacity so why i am interested in f64 capacity there are a couple of regions behind it one is f64 capacity or onward capacity i can use copilot and i plan to explore that feature second is f64 onward you don't require license for viewers prior to this capacity any capacity which you take for the power bi consumer as well as creator you would be requiring a power bi pro license now we have understood what are the various kind of fabric capacities time has come that we go to azure and start purchasing the capacity i will go to portal.azure.com and i have already logged in into my login of my organization please remember you might not be able to purchase these from individual id so you need an organizational login and you need to have the access or privilege to purchase this so to purchase a microsoft fabric capacity you can search for microsoft fabric and click on microsoft fabric it will take you to this page where you have the create option i already have a capacity but i'll show you how to create a new one click on create it will load a new page where it will show you options for creation of capacity the page has opened you need to give you information here so first of all subscription i'm using microsoft of partner network that's the only option available with me as of now resource group i can use my own resource group enter the capacity name in the capacity name there are certain limitations so you have to follow that i'll give amit trial f64 okay i'm going to use the nearest one which is central india for me but you can choose whatever is the nearest region for you f64 you can change the size if you need some other capacity now you can choose any of these capacity and it will show you the estimated cost I don't want to change it so I'll cross it out 
you can also give the fabric administrator in case you want someone else to be there if you want to give the tags you can press on the next button and give the tags and then you can click on review and create to create this capacity i already have a capacity so i'm not going to create it i'm going to go back to the home tab or to the microsoft fabric page on my portal from where i can start my capacity so as you can see i already have a capacity and this is the capacity i can start so that i can start using this inside my microsoft fabric workspaces now to just to give you an overview what my workspaces is using right now and how i'm going to shift let me take you to the my microsoft fabric workspaces i can go to those by using app.fabric.microsoft.com or preferably my own option is going to app.powerbi.com that's the option i usually use here i all my fabric workspaces as you can see i have many of them but let me showcase you 01 ZA fabric workspace. If I go to this workspace and showcase you what capacity it is using, you will find that is a trial capacity. So let me click on the three dots and go to workspace settings. And if I go to the premium connection, you will see that I am using a trial capacity right now. Please remember I have done multiple tests where I've switched it to the fabric capacity and again back to the trial capacity so as long as your trial is enabled you will be able to shift it back as you can see i have created a pay as you go capacity i am able to switch time has come that we start our fabric capacity so i am already on my fabric capacity page let me click on resume it will ask are you sure you want to start i'll say yes my capacity has started and now I'll go back to app.powerbi.com. Let me refresh the page and reload my workspace 01GA fabric. Let me click on the three dots and go to workspace settings. Inside the workspace setting, I'll go to premium and inside the premium. Now, as you can see, I have a fabric capacity option enabled. It is able to identify that in my tenant, I have a fabric capacity. So let me click on the fabric capacity and I'll choose my fabric capacity and let me click on apply. Now in this manner, you can switch from a trial capacity to a fabric capacity. If you have multiple capacities, you can go ahead and use one of those capacity. In the similar manner, you can change the capacities for other workspaces also. Let me quickly open and check is my report working. I have opened on a report and as you can see my report is working to check whether my f64 is working or not i will click on copilot if the copilot is working it means i am using f64 capacity the paid one it doesn't work with the trial f64 capacity i'll use the option give me an executive summary you can ask many other questions from the copilot and just to let you know this is the viewer copilot this is not the developer copilot which i have clicked on let it provide the information i have already created a page where i have a lot of information and based on that information i have got the summary right now i'm not going to take you through the depth of this we will do that in some other videos of the copilot but i just wanted to let you know that i am now using the f64 capacity and this is the proof of that so why don't you go ahead and try out in case you need to buy a f64 capacity or any other fabric capacity and you want to switch to that do let me know if you have any other questions on fabric capacity and what are the advantage of using any particular capacity you can ask your questions in comments thanks for watching this particular video thank you